Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss about the question called as Evaluate Boolean Binary Tree. So this is actually an easy new question from Blade Code. So let's start reading the question. So you are given a root of full binary tree with the following properties. Leaf nodes have either value 0 or 1 where 0 represents false and 1 represents true. And coming to the second one, non-leaf nodes have either the value 2 or 3 where 2 represents a boolean or and 3 represents a boolean and. So what you have to do is you have to perform some evaluations for each and every node. So if the node is a leaf node, the evaluation is the value of the node that is either true or false. Otherwise, evaluate the nodes to children and apply the boolean operation of its value with the children's evaluations. So we'll return the boolean result of evaluating the root node. So what they're trying to say is they'll be giving you a tree, a binary tree where the leaf nodes will contain true or false Coming to the non-leaf nodes, it contains a boolean and or boolean or for some for performing some evaluations. So let's take an example here. Let's suppose we're having a tree. So let's check this is a tree, right? So now, so this is an example tree. As we have discussed before, the leaf nodes have either true or false. A leaf node is nothing but a, a node which doesn't have any children. So this doesn't have any children. This doesn't have any children. This doesn't have any children, right? So that's why these are either true or false. Coming to the other nodes which have children, at least one children, there might be an AND or OR, right? So now, what they are trying to say is we have to perform some evaluations and we have to evaluate the root and return the result of the root. So, for example, for example, let's say the evaluation of this node is the AND of left and the AND of right, right? So AND is nothing but the both, both the conditions have to be true. Then only it would be true, right? So in this case, the left one is false and right one is true. So now false and true would definitely be false because for AND both should be true, right? So now as this is false, the answer for this node would be false. So coming to this 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 node, so this doesn't have any children, so that's why it has it is having either true or false. So in this case, it is true. So now here in this, the left one is true, and right one is false. As the evaluation is or here, so in the or either one of it has to be true, right? So in this case, the left one is true, right? So our condition satisfied. So the answer for the root would be true here. So as they ask the root evaluation, right? So for this no, for this tree, the root evaluation would be true. So the answer is true here. So let's try with some let's try with some other example. So let's take this tree as an example. So we are having a binary tree which contains values in the form of integers. So as they have said before, they'll be giving you in the form of integers where one represents true, zero represents false, two represents or, and three represents and. So the values are in the bottom, right? So the true and false are in the bottom. So if you, to, to start from the bottom, the best way is post or the traversal, right? So let's perform post or the traversal here. So they'll be giving a root node. So they'll be, you'll be having access to the root of the tree. So you have to start from here. So let's perform post order traversal. So post order traversal is nothing but we we first visit all the left subtree, we first visit all the right subtree, and then we come to the root. So this is what the post order traversal is, right? So you do, you perform the same thing here. First you go to left subtree, you come from from this node to this node. Again for this from this node, you come to this node, and this doesn't this is a leaf node, right? So now we have to perform some evaluations. So what you'll be doing is this is true, right? So what you have to do is you have to send this true to the previous node, which would be true. So now we are done with the left subtree of this node. So you have to come to the right subtree. Now you'll be coming to this node. So this is a leaf node. So now we have to send this node value called as true because this is one. So now we have to perform evaluations here. So as this is tree, three, three actually means it is and right. So now you have to perform AND operations for the left and the right values. So for AND both have to be true. So in this case, the left one is true, the right one is true as well. That actually means the answer would be true here for this node. So you'll be sending a value to the top node, which is true. So as you have done, we are done with the left subtree of this node. You have to come to the right subtree. So you'll be coming to this node and you have to go to the left again. 
now we are then we have come to the leaf node which is one one actually means true right so you will be sending true to this node you have done with the left subtree now you have to come to the right so this is zero because it is a leaf node so the value is zero which actually means false so you'll be sending false to this node right so the value in the top node is two two actually means or right so for or if at all any one is true that actually means it is true if anything is not true then it is false so in this case the left one is true the right one is false right so one of it is true that actually means we have to send true to, true to the top node so we are done with the left and right subtree so now we have to perform evaluation for this root node main node so as this is three which actually means it is and operation so the left subtree has returned true and the right subtree has returned true so now true and true is nothing but true right so now as we are done with the entire subtree the answer would be true so this is how you have to evaluate the root node this is how you find the evaluation of this binary tree so let's try to implement this code so now you're having a method called as evaluate tree which contains parameters of a root node of the root node so first things first what we'll be doing is as i said before we'll be performing some post of the traversal right so for the post of the traversal we have to go to the left subtree and then to the right subtree and then do the evaluations for the current node so first thing is we have to see whether the current node is a root node or not. Uh, current node is a leaf uh, leaf node or not right so if root dot left is equal to null and root dot right is equal to null that actually means it is a leaf node so now if root dot value is equal to zero that actually means it is false so return false or else return true so now if it is not a leaf node so we have to do, we have to go to the left subtree right so i'll be using a variable called as left and we'll, i'll be getting the value from the left subtree and store in this left variable so evaluate tree and i'll go to the root, root dot left similarly i'll go to the right as well because we are doing post or the traversal evaluate tree root dot right so now after getting both the values from the left and right subtree now it is the time to perform evaluation based on the current value so if current value which is root dot value is equal to 2 that actually means it is or or operation right so now i have to return left or right so if any of the one is true it will it will, it will be returned true or else it is false if it is not true which actually means we have to perform and operation so for and i'll be doing return left and right so this is how this is what the the entire implementation of this solution of this code so what it's going to do is as i said before it will go to the, uh, the left subtree and find if it is a it is leaf node or not if it is leaf node it will send the value and will perform evaluations for the, if it is not a null if non leaf node if it is a non leaf node and at the end it will return the evaluation of the root so this is how you implement uh, evaluation of a boolean binary tree so let's try to run this yeah it got accepted so let's try to submit this cool it got succeeded so this is, as i said before this is a bit easy question this is a tree based question right so all you have to do is just perform post or the traversal and it it works so if you like the video please make sure you like and subscribe thank you